First, we're gonna get started with primer. I've already put it on the Spaco Under Makeup Primer, which was a free sample from Ulta, so that really came in handy. Um, next, I usually start with my brows, which <laughs> I need a definitely trim. And I'm just gonna shape them up a little bit um, using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. And this is in the color Chocolate. Um, I cannot find my angle brush, so I'm just going to use a thin brush here. Um, this is just like a brush I got it like Ross or something, it really doesn't have a name. So I usually just dip a bit in from this, and then I'll get the excess off here. And I've had this for about, I want to say about maybe since before Christmas, and it's so creamy. I've had other brow products before and they usually like dry out like really quickly and this one has not dried out yet which it better not because it was not cheap at all. Um, I got mine from Dillard's. Now I will say I do like the MAC um, the MAC Brow Pencil. I think it's in the color Spiked. I prefer that over um, the pomade. Yes, because it's really easier to control and it doesn't take as long. I don't have to do as much cleanup. But since I bought this, I'm going to use all of it before I go and get another brow pencil from MAC just because I probably won't purchase this again. my brows up, I'm going to use the NYX. This is the Conceal Correct Contour um, Palette Quad. It's like, I guess, a dupe for the MAC one. I love it, as you can, as you can tell. I usually use the orange to color correct if I have time. And I vary between the regular, all these other colors to, again, um, the this one to contour, the darker one. Um, these lighter ones to highlight um, sometimes and to, again, clean up my brows. So, for the bottom part of my brows, I usually use between these two colors right here. And I just take... Not perfect, but they are good enough for me. So after I've done my brows and my um, primer has set in, um, usually I will color correct, but I wanted to try. I'm currently cooking as well, and my take my chicken out of the oven. I'm gonna leave it in like six minutes to <laughs> get it out of the oven. But I'm not gonna correct today because. Um, I've been hearing a lot of people talk about the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation and I've been wanting to try it out for a long time but every time I went to Walmart it was gone. All the other cold girls had got it. <laughs> but I finally got it and again it says it's the 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. Um, okay color range um i'm in the color chestnut hopefully the other color i tried on myself was just really dark and my skin has a lot of different other like colors underneath like red and orange and brown and blah 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 
So this is what I thought would be the best. So I'm going to apply this. And I think I am going to apply it with um, like a flat top kabuki brush. And I love that it comes with a pump. I love pumps. I'm just going to put it on the top of one of my little palettes here. I'm going to start with two pumps, which may seem like a lot. It's kind of thick. And I'm going to brush. Alright, so I don't know if y'all can see this. Alright, let me see if I can zoom in for y'all. Oh, that is some coverage like this and my discoloration. Like it completely covered that. That's crazy. Oops. Okay. New camera, y'all. Please forgive me. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep on. Blend. Sorry, my camera stopped recording, but I was like, again, look at this coverage. Oh my god! And this smells really good too. It has like a floral scent in it. You gotta blend that out down there to that neck. This is um, medium full coverage, lightweight, oil free formula because I get so oily. Um, long wearing, water resistant, and sweat proof. Like, it feels, and I can kind of feel it setting in, and it feels so good. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I absolutely love the foundation right now. I do think I'm going to have to do a part one two or maybe three of this video because my battery is about to die. Um, definitely gets a 10 for me right now. Um, I'm loving it. I can't, I can't say anything else. I love this foundation. Ooh, if you guys want to see the part two to this video showing what eye makeup I do and how I do my highlight and contour and blush, definitely like this video. Leave some comments below. I will upload again, guys. I promise, I promise, I promise. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.